Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to unbox the MSI MAG X570S Torpedo Max Motherboard. As you can see, very nice design box. Not much on it, apart from it's Ryzen compatible, obviously. Desktop 5000 series ready. PCI Gen 4, overclocking sported and Lightning Gen 4. MD Ryzen 2000, 3000, 5000 series compatible just at the bottom of the frame there. Um, not much else on the rest of the box to be fair. Some specs, but nothing major. Let's see if I can read the specs for spinning this round. Nope, because that'll be upside down. And the writing is tiny. What do we have here? HD audio and gigabit Ethernet PCI 4.0 x16 slot support for ultra high speed dims and basically the same thing it said about what are supported versions of Ryzen. So let's see what's inside the box. Pop this open. Obviously there's the main deal here. Here's our motherboard. So let's just lift that out just now. Jesus that's heavy. And we have a little box of tricks. Looks like this just folds up. And out of the way. As I point my camera. What do we have here? A MSI branded USB key. Considering this is going to go on a NAS build, that could be useful. Two SATA cables by the looks of it. One is right angled. And one is straight. The MSI pin badge or sticker, I think it's a sticker. These are colours for the heat shield that is on the motherboard punch out plate. An MSI rewards program thing. Uh, thank you for choosing MSI. I like killing trees. A little MSI catalogue. The MSI review and competition. A MSI quick start guide. A rather large MSI manual. What oh, crap. And baggy of screws which I'm presuming is for the multiple SSDs that this can take or rather NVMEs so for the time being we'll place them back in there yes, we'll go back over there that one goes there that one goes there we can put this down just move this to the side get out of our way for now okay touch something metal ground myself okay. you can tell this is a high end motherboard you can actually feel it so if we place that on there we have a M2 slot here. This is a part you can customize with with stickers I mentioned. Four RAM slots. Probably gonna to have to get closer to actually ID some of these things. That looks like another M2 slot. I guess is there's also one hiding under here. Oh well, I could be wrong with that. We have two slots for crossfire. These are PCI 4 16 slots. And we have two smaller slots. These will be for my networking, probably. One of my HPs. I've got an HP card and a networking card that need to go in here. 10 gig Ethernet. Mounting for the CPU. Just pick this monster up and flip it over. Okay, and you can see why I purchased this. We have PS2 connection. We have two USB two connections, two USB 3 connections, HDMI, BIOS reset button, USB 3, 
three more USB 3 connections, onboard audio including optical, but the coup de gras is we have gigabit ethernet and 2.5 gig ethernet. So this is what we built in the NAS, that would be perfect. Scroll up on there, Let's see what else we've got. So we have our motherboard power connection here. We have a four pin and a six pin over here. Our front IO is down here. Some front USB here. And this will be our CPU fans. That is an onboard header for, oh, just can't see that. That is an onboard header for front USB-C. I don't have that in the case this is going to, so that won't be affected by that. This machine is also going to be booting from USB, so it won't be using that either. It won't be using the M2 either, should I say. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, that's a nice looking board. It's really heavy, like a lot heavier than I was expecting, and it's looking good. And the next time you see it, it will be inside a NAS. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.